is the city of El Taleb, capital of the land of Ahad, until recently ruled by the Caliph, Hashid ben Ahmed IV. When Ahmed died, he left two sons, Qasim and Hassan. They were twin brothers and looked so much alike that hardly anyone could tell them apart. Qasim was the old Caliph's favorite, and to him he left his throne, while Hassan, a ne'er-do-well, was banished from the country. Today, all the people in the kingdom are rejoicing and celebrating the coronation of their new ruler. There is also much merriment and feasting in the palace, where emissaries from neighboring kingdoms have come to present rich gifts to the young caliph in the name of their potentates. just and kind Kassim, benevolent Caliph of Ahad, may your rule be glorious and peaceful. My master, the Sultan of Bakal, desires your rule to be as bright as these jewels. Allah permitting, he shall be. Ambassador of the Emir of El Putal. May your country continue to prosper as it did under the rule of your father. It shall be, if Allah will answer my prayers. My master, the Emir of El Portal, also sends his best stallion, a descendant of the steed which carried Mohammed. This fine horse is awaiting in the courtyard. I cannot find words to express my unending gratitude. Faud, make certain that my best table is assigned to such a noble animal. Ambassador Sudel Salim, Emir Teles. My master Saud Al Salim, the Emir of Teles, is leaving his kingdom today to pay you a visit. He does me a great honor. Traveling with him is his oldest daughter, the charming Princess Azala. If she meets with your favor, my master will consent to give her to you in marriage. So rare a jewel as your lovely princess is all that a man would ask for as a wife. May Allah speed them on their journey. to the land of your birth, noble Hassan. How dare you keep me waiting in a lowly place like this, Faud? Have a watch and eyes at the palace would not permit my leaving sooner. I trust my dear brother Kasim does not suspect my presence here. Words are often enemies, Hassan. We can talk freely. Waj and Faisal are devoted to our cause. You can depend upon us. I'll ask you down to details. How do you propose to bring about this uh, switch of beggar and caliph? I have worked it out very carefully. You remember the secret entrance through the wall around the private garden? Indeed I do. I've slipped through it many times. 
Once inside, it is a simple matter to make our way into Kasim's private chambers. When I find his body, I will tell the people that Hassan returned in violation of his banishment. You mean he is to be identified as me? Exactly. What would be more natural than for the unsavory Hassan to have lost his life in a drunken brawl? You mean that we are to kill the Caliph? Bismillah, you didn't tell us anything like that. But no, this is the first we've heard of this. It uh, must have slipped my mind. I have other things to think about. Now I understand why they hesitated. But becoming a chamberlain and a captain of the guards, I would the risk you'll be taken. Ambition shouldn't ask what blood it spills. I am gratified that all of us are now in accord. One thing more before you leave. What if others in the palace should note the difference between my brother and myself? It is true that we look alike, but in mannerisms. Only the Grand Vizier and myself ever get close enough to Kasim to really know him. And Yusef Ben Khan won't live long enough to realize the substitution. So be it. One hour from now we shall meet at the secret gate. So far, everything has worked out to our advantage. Have the guards been removed? Yes, indeed, and it will be many hours before any of them stir. Come. Now to get him out of here. Wrap this around him. I shan't need it any longer. When you wear this in Cassina's ring, no one will question your identity. It wouldn't be healthy for them if they did. We're ready, Hassan. The ring. Remember now, do not do away with Kasim until you are far out of the city. I'll let you out through the secret door. There's the river. He's heavier than a house. My legs are about to break. Oh, pick him up. Stir your lazy legs. Let's get this thing over with. How about you carrying him the rest of the way? I'll carry him to the river, if you'll finish him off. Yeah, I'll agree to that. very far. My knife cut close to his heart. He's 
he's alive. But his wound is serious and needs attention. Well, bring the beggar into the other room and we'll do what we can for him. This man is no beggar, Mother. Only a beggar would seek refuge in our shack. Oh, let it never be said that we turn the needy away from our door. Bring him in now and we'll... <coughs> Well, I can't figure out where he could be. Well, neither can I, unless he's hiding in one of these houses. Well, what do you propose? Do we look in every house and ask him if they've got a wounded Khalif? So you talk as if I'm entirely to blame for this. Hassan is not going to ask who's to blame, but we'll both be punished equally. Maybe we needn't tell him. That's right. We can report that Kasim was dead and we threw the body in the river. Hassan will never know the difference. Well, if we were only sure that wounded proved fatal. Supposing it doesn't. Have you forgotten that tomorrow you'll be captain of the guards and can ferret him out anywhere he may be hiding? Well, that's right. You know, I can tell right now you're going to make a wonderful chamberlain. I understand. Remain in your quarters and await further orders. Have Wedge and Faisal reported to you? They never came back to the palace. Are you sure we can trust them? I trust them implicitly. Yusuf Ben Khan, the Grand Vizier. Still the old weasel. I hope you slept soundly last night, Yusuf Ben Khan. My slumbers were undisturbed, most kind Kasim. Here is the proclamation you ordered me to prepare. Proclamation? You remember, sire, you said in honor of your ascension to the throne, all taxes should be reduced immediately? It is a generous gesture which will endear you to your subjects. I'll look it over and sign it later. But I wanted to make the proclamation today. Do you have the effrontery to give me orders? You're mistaken in my intention, I mean. I don't care what you meant. I'm giving the orders, not taking them. Do I make myself clear? Do my eyes deceive me? What do you mean, Yusuf Ben Khan? You are not the Caliph. Do you challenge my authority? You are not Kasim. You are Hassan. It will be very difficult for you to prove that. You wouldn't. <coughs> You shouldn't have killed him right here in the throne room. He saves putting him in a dungeon and having to feed him. But how are we to explain? To figure that out will be your first job as the new Grand Vizier. Say, this is really something. Have you finished your job? Kasim has gone to join his ancestors. Both of you will be properly rewarded. Who's he? Yusuf Ben Khan, the former Grand Vizier. You ought to know. You and Wedge just killed him. We killed him? Say, are you mad? Hassan, what, what does he mean? Akbar of guards! These two men just killed the Grand Vizier. Take them out and execute them at once. You cannot do this, Your Remove the body. Make arrangements for a state funeral tomorrow. Such a faithful servant as Yusuf Ben Khan should have only the best. Now, only you and I know that you are not Kasim, the rightful caliph. I am the rightful caliph. Remember that. I shall. Well, your wound is healed. Thanks to your care. Now you can go back to work. Work? Yes, you can beg, can't you? At least you look like a beggar in those clothes Omar stole for you. Yes, I... I suppose I am a beggar. But I hope you'll work harder than Omar. He's so lazy. I'm not lazy, Mother. I just don't like to work. <laughs> oh, you don't like to work, eh? Oh, wait a minute, Mother! <laughs> 
Worry nothing. Today is the feast of Ramadan, and our good colleague will be going to the mosque of Ambar. Now you two, get out there and beg and beg like you never begged before. People will be generous this day, and arms will flow like water. Now out with you. Oh, I'm out with you. <laughs> Mother's words are really inspiring. Oh, very. <laughs> to the colleague. That man is not the caliph. He's an imposter. I, Kasim, am the true caliph. Your evil deeds seem to have caught up with you at last, Hazan. The evil is on your head. For you have violated our father's degree of banishment. You are the one he banished. Not me. Hakba. see that this liar is put in his proper place. I demand to be heard. Silence. Nay, let him speak. Everyone has the right to be heard. Seize him, too. This is holy ground. You don't dare harm or arrest anyone inside a mosque. Then stay here and starve with my rebellious brother. Hakba, have your guards clear the mosque. But see that these two stay behind. Guards, clear the mosque. some guards stationed here. Arrest my brother and that merchant if they fight to leave the mosque and bring them to the palace dungeon. Close the doors. Omar, why did you linger here? Don't you know that my brother will seek revenge on anyone who dares to befriend me? Well, he to whom you're a perfect stranger was brave enough to stand by you. Who am I to desert you in your hour of need? My brother will punish you for taking my part. If he does, it'll most certainly prove he is not the just and kind Kasim he claims to be. Too bad, merchant. Your little conspiracy didn't work. Seize him. To the palace dungeon. I personally wouldn't mind staying here permanently if we had something to eat. I'm sorry I let you come here with me. Oh, never mind that. What I want to know is, which one are you really, Kasim or Hassan? Would I risk my life to come here and denounce the caliph if my claim was not legal? I take your word for it. The question is now, how do we get out of here? I've got an idea that might get you out. Kill me and deliver my body to the guards outside. Kill you? <laughs> Sounds as if someone were being murdered in there. I killed him, dog! I killed him! I waited until we were alone and then I stabbed him. He deserved it for he questioned the authority of our caliph. You violated the sanctuary of the mosque. He tried to strangle me. I had to kill him to save myself. Where's the body? Over there, behind that pillar. That 
Tiger tricked us. They'll pay for this dearly. The Grand Vizier. The Caliph just decided to have Kodabe executed. His wish will be carried out at once, sir. Report to me when it is done. Very well. You look so strange without your beard, O noble one. So strange, I hope my dear brother Hassan won't recognize me. There's a secret entrance. Help me over the wall. I'll open the gate from the inside. I'll delay the guards. to legend that notorious Bennett was executed ten years ago. Now he was supposed to have supernatural powers. Maybe he returned to the land of the spirits. Pick him up. We'll take him to the Caliph. That'll keep his mind off Kota Bey's escape. Let what happened to Kota Bey be a warning to all those who would dare oppose me. Since your brother will never leave the mosque alive, your position is absolutely secure. Oh, noble one. 
We bring you the body of... Two of your best swordsmen. He won't last very long. now free to rule the country he wrested away from his brother? And what will become of Koda Bay and the Friends of the Hawk? Learn the answer in The Evil Eye, Chapter 2 of The Desert Hawk, at this theater next week.